So we did a little anniversary getaway and it was just one night. Definitely wasn't long enough, but this is where we stayed. This is Hidden Creek Cabins and this is in Bryson City, North Carolina. I don't know if you can hear the creek from here, but it is down there and that is what is the Hidden Creek. And we're just gonna go down here and give you all a little property tour so you can see what these uh, Hidden Creek cabins are all about. So these are all the cabins in the area. You've got the caboose, the bungalow, the farmhouse, the cottage, the A-frame, the log cabin, tiny home, and then the honeymoon cabins. We're gonna go down to the right first and check all those out. And then we'll go to the left just look around the property so you can see what it's like. This is a hidden gem. It's absolutely beautiful around here. There goes a bunny. That's the A-frame. This is the cottage. We're not staying over here, so we don't want to invade on anyone's privacy. I don't think anybody was at the cottage, it seems. It must have gone already. Maybe. We'll go on down through here and look so you can see the river. This is absolutely divine. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the best I think I'm on. This one or the one that we're going to see next. Okay. We're definitely going to be back here, so we're just trying to figure out which one we want to stay in next time. They're all really good, though. I figured the water would have been more crazy right now because of all the rain last night. It stormed like crazy all night long. But it was awesome on that tin roof. So this is the bottom of the A-frame. Oh, there's one up there too. Looks like there's cars still there though. Bunny. They're still there. I really, really, really like this one. That's called the Bob Cabin. As you can see, the property is just gorgeous. And this is why I like this one. Look at that. Yeah. He's up there and enjoying his coffee. We just talked to the property manager. They're putting some new ones in here. Not sure when those will be. I might put one right there. I would say maybe right there and then right down here. Oh. Now this one is Kelly's favorite. And we looked at it um, on Airbnb, the inside. It's really cool. Yeah, if you want to go the more modern route. I don't think anybody's there. Car's not there, so. No. We'll just walk Looks over like, and through. No, we got other stuff out. So. Yep, we will not invade then. Hmm. So yeah, that one's really nice too. I mean, you really cannot go wrong here. I would say they're gonna put one right here. Yeah. I think they got the hook up for it right out front. She said they were putting three more up, right? I think so. Well, there's another area that they can put one right here. So one right here, one right here, one right there. Yep. That's three. This is the honeymoon heaven. Everybody's gone here, so let's check it out. We wanted to build a fire last night, but it was storming, so we could not. There's a hot tub on that one. Oh, 
people are still here, so we're not going to invade. But that is the Honeymoon Creek over there. This one is up the hill, and it is called Maggie's. There's not really um, a view of the creek up here. I don't think anyone's up here, so I'm just gonna go walk on the porch real quick. Just to see if there's a view. But you can definitely hear it, that's for sure. Oh yeah, you can hear it. You cannot see the creek from here, but you can definitely hear it. And now we're gonna go to the other way, what, the left. <laughs> that is the little caboose. And what that is, it's a, it's an old camper. And um, they brought this in from, I think New York, the owners did, and put it on the property. We would have really loved to stay there, but it was booked up. She said that they have checked out though, so we're gonna go over here and look at it. There is an extra bed, the um, dining room table lays down. Kelly's gonna test out the rockers there. We have some pretty awesome furniture though on ours. Yeah, I like ours better. <laughs> the view is better here, but our furniture was a lot better. The property manager said that uh, this cabin here, this is not original. They brought this in just for decoration, but it's really cool. We glanced around in it yesterday, so I'm going to open it up again. It's a little creepy on the inside. So that's it. Creepy, creepy cabin. The mosquito is biting me. Ow. This is the one that we stayed in. It's called the bungalow. And I will do a property tour of that later in this video. The bungalow was part of the original property and it has been renovated. It was the um, farmhouse keepers quarters. This is the farmhouse and it was established 1922 as you can see on the sign. This is definitely a family stay. I think it is three bedrooms, two baths. Beautiful place for a hot tub right next to the stream. That would be great. I could literally live there, so. <laughs> well, I wanna live in the Caribbean, but I could live there <laughs> too until that time. As you can see, everything is spread out. You have your own privacy. This is only five minutes into town. So you feel like you're a world away, but you're close to all the conveniences of downtown Bryson City. Bryson City is just a little cool, sleepy town. So this is the one we're staying at. So I'm gonna give you the tour of the inside of this one. This is the kitchen, obviously. The bathroom is a little separated. This is the toilet area. And by the way, we've already checked out. We always forget to film when we're coming in and we end up doing it when we're checking out. This is the shower area. I'm gonna take you up to the loft. This has extra beds for children. Probably not younger children, but I guess you could if they're brave. So you've got a loft bed up here. You got a little separate air conditioning. And then on this side, you've got another little off bed. Living room area, got a nice TV. The main bed. And then out to the patio. Close this behind because it's early in the morning. Don't want any bugs in there. You have your own little private area here. 
The steps leading up to this goes to really nothing. It is very private and we did like that. We just wish that we could have seen a little bit more of the river. I think if uh, maybe part of the privacy fence was taken down, but it's great if you want that privacy. So it just depends on what you're looking for. We definitely stay here again. So wasn't that big of a deal breaker. And that's really about it for this place. All right, you guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all our subscribers. We're always trying to grow, still trying to get there. See you all next adventure.